Hey everybody, this is my part 2 video for the 2011 Eclipse. In my first video, we did a little walk around of the outside. In this video, we're going to do a demonstration of all the car's interior features. Showing you that everything works. The car has two original keys. They both work. Unlocks the doors, locks it, it'll pop the trunk. Sound the alarm, all that stuff. The original uh, Mitsubishi keys. And there's two, as I mentioned. Start her up. Car starts right up. The only one light on this car is the tire pressure light. I guess one of the sensors maybe needs to be recalibrated or maybe needs to be replaced. I don't know. It's such a silly thing, these stupid tire pressure sensors. But that is the only thing that I noticed. Otherwise, no other issues. Okay. Car revs up nicely. All the gauges work. Power windows work. Rear windows work as well. Okay. Power locks. No problem there. Power mirrors work the way that they should. Up and down, left and right, no issues. It's amazing everything in this car works. It's crazy. Over here you have your fog lamps, traction light off. This over here raises and lowers the beam of the headlight. This is an option. I haven't seen this on many other Eclipses. That's a rare option. Um, some people bought it, some didn't. This car has the Xeon headlights with this uh, motorized headlight package. Horn works. Okay, car's cruise control works. I've tried it. It does go on and off and all that stuff. Okay, we tried to hurry through some of this stuff. The car's got a lot of features. Wipers work. Signals work. Come over here. Hazards work. There's your dis display for the radio. Okay, it tunes in, seeks fine. Radio actually sounds great. It's got the Rockford Fosgate system with the rear subwoofer. That also does work. It's got a six disc in dash CD changer, auxiliary outlet in the, in the glove box in case you want to plug your phone in or whatever. Yeah. Car has wireless Bluetooth for your cell phone there. Power convertible top. As I mentioned in my first video, the top hasn't been down in years. Um, I haven't tried it. I don't know with the uh, if it works or not. That could be something the buyer looks into when he gets it. I just don't want to play with it. Okay, this car does have a full convertible top power. Climate control. You know, the fan speeds work. Rear defroster. You know, over here is your different positions for the fan to blow in. Okay. Heated seats work and they do heat up. They have the dual uh, setting, high and low. Automatic transmission. Guy added the cell phone holder here. Uh, charging outlet there. Dual cup holders. And here you have another charging outlet and uh, an auxiliary outlet in the glove box. Hey, original floor mats. Hey, original owner's manuals are present. Clean dash with no cracks. What else? Dome lights even work up there. There's your mirror. The car goes in reverse and you got a backup camera right there. It's hard to see because of the sun, but you got a backup camera there when the car goes in reverse. So this car does have a reverse cam. That was an option, but that is stock. Mint condition top outside, no rips, no tears. Same thing with the interior of the top. It's in great condition. Okay. Visors are in nice shape and they even light up when you open the visors up. I can't believe it. Stuff like that never works anymore after 11 years to 12 years and especially this kind of mileage. Car's just in great shape. Anybody buys this car, we're happy with it. You know, you can buy one with 70,000 miles. I don't think that one would even be as nice as this car. Um, as far as the way this car runs, as far as the way this car looks and all the features and everything working. It's just a great car. I'm going to take my... Uh, Put my seatbelt on now and let's take it for a fast test drive with you guys so you can see how it drives. You'll see once the seatbelt clips in. 
the uh, seatbelt warning light even goes out the way it should. Okay. Put the car in drive. Let's take it for a little drive down the on the boulevard. This car runs and drives great. It just completed an 800 mile trip from New York to South Carolina. Okay. Brakes beautiful too. If you see the dashboard that that D over there blinking. I don't know why it blinks on the video. It's not blinking in real time. That light is not blinking in real time. The camera for some reason makes it do that. I don't know why. There we go. Sorry about the glare, it's so much, it's so sunny out today. It's the uh, middle of February, it's like 70 degrees out, the sun is just crazy. You can see the car runs great, right now I'm going about to 45 miles an hour. It steers great, it brakes great, it starts right up.